Okay, down here again. Okay, that's the Kenmore microwave. Got it in here. Wash the tray and everything, and I got some water in there. And I'm going to test it and see if it works okay in here on this power strip. magnifying glass and I don't actually know how to use the uh, HP features on this one I'm just getting in there to make it go but uh, plug it into the same power strip point of view and I'm going to put the new end on so I'm going to do uh, four minutes oh yeah now it starts going but you can check the the only level that will cook the TV dinner with is this one sounds normal it doesn't make that loud transformer buzzing noise new batch of cold water, cool water, I poured that other out, let that dish cool down, that's a power tipping stand to keep that from cooling down, the stove on the shop, and uh, so, yeah, I believe I'll run around there and check that core, I don't want to turn on that lamp in the room while the microwave's running because that's a power Good. It's just too little. I can barely see it. With the magnifying glass. Now that number six, I can kind of see it from back here. But I'm far sighted, so I used to could see things from far, far away. Now I can't see things from anywhere, really. That's where these magnifying glasses are. Uh, I call them dollar store, dime store. Well, we, when we were growing up, it was the dime store, the five and dime store. It works good, so I would have hated it from day one because it wouldn't stay in the same power. It'll, you should always do that once you unplug it and plug it back in while you're doing at least, you know, one, one dinner. And one part of the thing you're doing, and then it's sometime while you're gone, it switches itself back to power level eight. <laughs> and uh, it might have been doing it. Sometimes. 
sometimes it does it, you don't really notice it, because the only way you can really tell is, is to uh, listen to it. I'll punch that button, it's hot. Um, you know, it's even power level, but it, 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 the fan, it, it, you can hear it when it's kicking. It starts kicking on and off. The transformer and the, and the fan both start kicking on and off when it can fairly low. And it, it stays pretty much a steady, steady volume. You know, while it's in the pen. I'm going to check that cable out one time and then I'll just shut down this audio. <coughs> this time I'll put on the wire. Here's a thing I'm going to run it. You can use that on it for all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Make the new plug in. start using it and see what it does. The other one I'm going to bring in is see what it's going to take to send it back. Uh, uh. Okay. Well, it ran good. No problems. And you saw me making all my close-up video there. Um, four minutes. Heated up that Pyrex thing full of cool water. Put cool water in it again and uh, check the. Uh, that's why I'm running around the corner to check the uh, the plug. It, it goes around the corner to the. Uh, there's an old sock, wall socket on it in that side of the wall. It goes around there and plugs a six way in. It's about seven, eight foot long. Uh, we've used it for 10 plus years. We've always had something like that in there. I think we had a, a heavy duty extension cord before and it's out in the garage being used on a heater right now. But. Uh, so anyway, it, you know the end got uh, got burnt and corroded, and but I replaced it with a new one, the, the male plug-in, and it's been fine and cool ever since. Uh, and since I put a new wall plug in that has a ground hole in it, then you don't have to use an adapter, which makes no difference. It's still a two-wire house with no no ground, but you can't buy those two-wire plugs anymore, or I can't find them. If I did, there when I did find a couple, they were real expensive. So. Uh, True ground, you know, goes to ground, and uh, I have a couple of circuits that are one in the garage and one in the bathroom that uh, you can. Uh, I ran a, a through 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 wire, heavy duty wire to it, like ten gauge to both of them, and because uh, I wanted it, you know, really stand up to. Because my welder went on one, and then the bathroom heaters uh, on the other one, and uh, wanted to really stand up well, and uh, they still have 15 amp. There's a GFI in the bathroom, 15 amp GFIs. And uh, so anyway, uh, but there, you know, you can, there's no real earth ground in our breaker box, uh, but you can put put it on the uh, ground leg, I guess you'd say. <coughs> I always forget all the right words to say uh, on the breaker box, so that's where they are. So anyway, um, of course, this this plug in here, what I'm talking about, it doesn't, the ground goes nowhere on it. It doesn't go out there because I don't. There's not three wires. This is the original house wire I'm going that we're plugged into now. So, uh, which all that actually does is protect you from touching the. If there was a short, uh, a bare wire touching the case, you know, that had power, a power wire, and uh, and you touch the case, you could get shocked. You know, like say if it got overheated and melted and was touching some part of the case or something. But usually that would short the thing out, and make it blow. But it's good to have a, a power strip with a breaker in it. That way you're not, well, you know, waiting for the whole circuit all the way back to the breaker box to get overdrawn before it breaks. That's one thing. But the other thing is, uh, you know, you just don't have the inconvenience of the breaker box blowing. This will blow first. And if you're blowing that, if you've got a big enough, you know, decent, well-made power strip and you're blowing that, you got something wrong. So, anyway, let's start. Bye.